Hi. Hi. I shouldn't have just come by. I should have called first. No, it's okay. Come on in. Thank you. I was just uh, getting ready to go to the second thing. It's a great outfit. Thank you. You too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I don't think there's an easy way to do this, so... Um... You know, I, I wanted to tell you how much I admire what you've done these last few months. Thank you. I had a lot of help. Yes. Well, help is very important. Sure is. Which kind of brings me to why I'm here. Um, before the judge passes sentence today, I, there's something that I have to do, but only, only if you agree. Um... What is it that you want to do, Nora? I'm afraid it's something that might upset you. I did that enough during the trial. I don't want to make that mistake again. Just tell me. All right. You may not know this, but the judge usually asks if anyone has anything to say before he passes a sentence. And? And, if it's all right with you, I'd like to speak up on Powell's behalf. Defending him? I thought you finally believed me. Oh, no, I do, Marty, completely. I just feel very strongly that the court should look at Powell differently from the other two. You mean they should go easier on him? I, I don't know. Okay, okay. Just, just, just hear what I have to say, all right? Those three boys raped you. No one is disputing that anymore. But let's look at everything that's happened since, all right? Yeah. Todd and Zach, they, they, they haven't shown any remorse at all. They're only sorry that they got caught. Powell, on the other hand, has been overcome with guilt and, and shame. Todd and Zach, well, they... Uh, we don't even know if they know right from wrong, but Powell does. But that doesn't change the fact that he raped me and he, and he helped cover it up. No, you're right, Marty, and for that, he should be punished. The question is whether he's different from the other two. Let's look at the facts here. Powell did not instigate the rape. He was pressured into going along with it. Then Powell came forward on his own to confess. And Powell's conscience drove him almost to the brink of suicide. Well, you know that. You were there. You saved him. Powell wanted to take his life because he knew he'd done something terribly wrong. But I don't know. I mean, that doesn't mean that he should be spared. No, to be spared, not spared. No, to be shown leniency. This is up to you, Marty. I mean that. If you don't agree with this, I, there's, there's, no, there's no way that I would address the court. I mean, this is... I, I owe you that much. I was pretty rough on you on court. You were just doing your job. Even so. Now, thanks to you, there was a mistrial, and I got a second chance. Yeah, and you took full advantage of that second chance, I must say. Mm. I haven't had a chance to tell you, but... You, what you did, you know, going into Todd's room with the, the tape recorder, I mean... I mean, talk about Daniel going into the lion's den. Yeah. I'm, it was pretty scary, but I had a lot of help. Yes. And Powell needs that kind of help now. He needs a second chance. You know, like the second chance you got to, to turn the tables on Todd, to turn your life around. No? Sweet, hi, um, Nora's here. Morning. Hi. Well, Nora's leaving. I'll... I guess I'll see you both in court. Huh? Uh, I'll be there. Marty, I guess I got the answer to my question, but thank you anyway. See ya. So long, Nora. Bye, Sway. Nora, wait. I'm glad you came by. This is a very big day for me. I've waited a long time for this. Oh, I know, I know. But, I don't know, to think that well, if he had a second chance, you do what you think is right, okay? Thank you. Okay. I will. Helping a friend get a second chance.